that Kevin. Kevin McCullough. Welcome back to Times Square. Kevin McCullough, glad to have you with us. And uh, yet to come, of course, the new music spotlight. Also going to delve into a little bit of a drawing for a That Kevin Show mug later this hour or next hour. So uh, stick around for all of that and more. Uh, Mary, Mary Jo Ginchard is my guest. She's running for the fifth congressional seat in the state of New Jersey, uh, but she has been to the border. She has seen some of this with her own eyes. Um, Mary Jo, in addition to the border issue, and that's the overwhelming issue on both sides of the political aisle in uh, Iowa, in New Hampshire, in South Carolina, it's polling is the number one issue that people are voting on, but not too distant from that is the issue of energy. You mentioned high egg prices and milk prices and stable prices. When, when, when oil and gas become unaffordable, the price of everything else that we buy uh, becomes unaffordable. Uh, and this administration has declared war on American supplies of energy, of which we have record amounts and could uh, do amazing things, not just in lowering our own prices, but if, if we get uh, oil to under $80 a barrel globally because we're supplying, um, Putin can't invade other countries. The mullahs in Iran can't fund terrorist proxies to go start wars. Everybody on the planet gets a little bit safer when America is energy dominant. That was a signature of the Trump administration in his first term. What is your position on energy supplies and what we need to do there? Kevin, you touched upon it. We were energy independent. I want to say that again, independent when we were under President Trump. We are now way past on the opposite of that statement. You can every, I don't think people realize everything you touch has oil in it. Women's makeup, your computer that you touch, your utensils, everything somehow is touched by some form of energy and you cannot go away from it. So if we all of a sudden become dependent on another country, we've just opened up Pandora's box. We have got to get back to energy efficiency and independence. We have got to stop doing, you know, if I can touch upon it on our shores of New Jersey and New York, all the windmills that are going on in the ocean, that's not a place to put those. We are killing, you know, marine life that way. We need to have that in the places where they should go. We need to bring back all of the forms of energy. We have the cleanest energy in the world, in the United States, but yet, here we all are on the opposite side of the political arena here. They want to have clean energy, right? That's all they talk about. But yet, we're not using the clean energy we have mm -hmm. in the United States, and we're taking energy from other places in the world, and their energy is not clean. It's not clean, Kevin. It's, in fact, it's, it's filthy sources of, uh, of those right. same fossil fuels. Let me move to uh, a different issue. The uh, Mothers of America were the ones in 2022 when the Congress and the Senate did not have a red wave. The Moms of America voted in conservative school boards from coast to coast. Gender theory, CRT, DEI, all being pushed in schools. Uh, what What is your view towards what education needs to become in uh, in a Trump administration and beyond? It's a very simple sentence. The teachers need to educate and not doctrinate. It's that simple. It is up to a parent to teach their child the moral values, religious values, all of those things that we were taught when we were kids. The school should not be taking the place of a parent. I spoke in Trenton actually about the rights for parents. And what I expressed to them was when I had my children, they were not in the labor room with me. So they don't need to be in it ever. And they don't need to be in my living room either. They need to be teaching our children the ABCs and the one, two, threes and leave all of the rest to the parents. Now, if there's a problem of a situation with a parent and a child and something's going on that happens to be a little bit more about abuse, things like that, that's a whole nother story. And there are laws that's that cover those, that. I mean, th that's th th right. There's, there's no Absolutely. need to, yes, but you're talking about indoctrination. And I think that that's indoctrination. what Indoctrination. These... I think that's what these mama bears that voted in 22 uh, were very, very concerned about. Real quickly, exactly. some states allow ballot harvesting and Republicans got hurt in 2020 by not participating in it. Um, I know that the Trump ground forces in your state have already declared openly 
that where it's legal, uh, it's going to be used. How confident are you that Republicans can get up to speed on that in time for the 2024 election? They're going to have to, Kevin. So, you know, this is something that we are very behind on, obviously across the country, not in just New Jersey. I think people have to feel comfortable. And first of all, let's get them to vote. Mary Jo for Congress.com. Mary Jo Ginchard, thank you so much for being with us. Kevin McCullough, stay right here. We're coming back live from Times Square. Stick around for more of That Kevin.